Diamond. He is slightly heavier. The shorter of the two. Mike Cappy retains that KO ratio and 11 knockouts in his 15 wins, though. Diamond, he is more of a technical fighter rather than the power fighter. And this is three three-minute rounds under K1 international rules. Doug Viney. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is quarterfinal fight number three. On Blood Diamond from Sutton's City Eight Kickboxing. 75 kg series is sponsored by PSS Security. It is scheduled for three three minute rounds of action. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing red trunks with silver trim. He has 15 wins, four losses, with three wins coming by way of KO. Representing Misfit Muay Thai. He's a TBA and IKBF middleweight and KBF super middleweight four man champion. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mike Misfit Cappy. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner enters the ring wearing black trucks with red trim. He has 52 wins, 14 losses, with 17 big wins coming by way of KO. Representing City Kickboxing in Auckland, he's a former King of the Ring middleweight champion and WKA Commonwealth in New Zealand IKBF champion. Introducing Blood Diamond! <laughs> Brothers in the center ring, please, with Clyde Colley's instructions. Hey guys, listen to me and obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Toss gloves, step back, have a good fight. Yep. Blood Diamond fighting out of the red corner, Mike Cappy. He does have a four man IKBF victory, so he knows what it's like to go into the deeper rounds. Cappy, a very heavy fighter, Diamond. Big left hook early, and that left hand of Diamonds is always a danger. Unorthodox with what he throws. Looking for the head kicks early. He can be unorthodox. Big knees. Just if there's any criticism of Diamond, he can be a little bit sloppy at times. Sometimes he needs to just go down the conventional road to set up. Finding a home with that long rangey jab. Cappy, he's got a big right hand, just looking for the opportunity to throw it. He throws it off that left leg that he's trying to throw inside. I noticed too, Diamond's still a little bit dry. We'd like to see him a little warm coming into this. Cappy, not afraid to come inside. setting it up there and he got punished for just coming in off balance call from Cappy's corner just to throw the straight shots down the middle well you see the long leaves there the reach the jab the lead hand coming off the off beats and also off the steps as well just like to see him construct his victories a little more but diamond's just trying to find his timing and uh, looking for the champagne shots when he should perhaps just go for the meat and two veg to set them up. Cappy's no novice, and he's a dangerous fighter. Both these fighters are unorthodox too. He goes from zero to 100 very quickly indeed. His old diamond steps off, disengages, but then like lightning he's in there in your face with a beautiful technique diamond's got very long arms and he's uh, quite awkward to find his range on cappy he's normally a little more aggressive than this so he's been tagged a couple of times early paying respect to the range of blood diamond 20 seconds to go. Body shot, left kick. It's an unorthodox combination, Monty. Not many fighters can throw that. He's an unorthodox fighter himself. That's where he caps himself out just at the end of the range, which makes it hard for Carpi. The lead left hook. You can see he throws those kicks up high from anywhere. 
Well, for mine, it was a, it was a round that Blood Diamond would have won relatively clearly. He landed the heavier shots and the cleaner shots, but he just looked a little bit sloppy in doing so. Would have liked to have seen him much more clean and executed in his work. It's hard to see. That time, then he disguised that left hook really well. It looked like he was coming down to the legs. Caught Carpi with the left hook. The two men trying to exchange just then. I see what you mean by at times he looks a little bit sloppy, losing his feet. But I tell you what, the, the subtleties when he does throw a technique, it's hard to see. Well, he doesn't just, telegraph any of the punches or kicks at all. He just needs to find that right hand at the moment. Just needs to go a little more from the right side. Eugene Barrowman, Doug Miney in himself. his corner. They're uh, calling for variation of straight punches. Clyde Cowley, third man in centre ring. This is the third quarterfinal. Blood Diamond on the right of your screen. Mike Cappy, the misfit, on the left, all in red. Let's see if Blood Diamond can execute and find the right hand. And Mike Cappy, he has a vicious right hand of his own. Ranges on for Diamond, making Cappy miss that lead inside thigh kick that he uses to set up his overhand right. Catching him with the left hook coming in. Once again, that left kick, finding a home. Wouldn't mind seeing something from the right hand side of Diamond. First minute down. Love's going off the short jab, left step, in the offbeat. Did something from the right. Look at frustration on Mike Cappy's face. He's concentrating very hard, but he's just finding it a little bit difficult to get a tag on, to get a bead on Diamond. I still think that's because Diamond just stands just outside the range. So you really do have to commit, and if you commit and you overextend, that's when you put yourself in a vulnerable position. Looking for the spinning hook kick. Cappy out of range. Sloppy so far, two unorthodox fighters. Cappy looking for the overhand right. Missing with that left hook is taken on the glove. A heavy kick. And that one made Cappy back off. That one hurt him, caught him right across the bread basket. And I think Blood Diamond knows it because he went straight downstairs with the lead hand to the body. Cross face there from Cappy. I'm pretty certain he's hurting to the body still, though. Move leg check from Diamond, who had switched momentarily to South Fork. Oh, round two in the bag again. But Diamond landing the cleaner shots, not enough coming back from Cappy to take the round, but uh, Monty just, uh, it's a little bit rough and ready at this point, off balance and not really executing. Yeah, I don't think Cappy can find the right rhythm that Blood Diamond is presenting, because there is no rhythm then. He is very awkward indeed. So I think Cappy needs to be the aggressor. He needs to be the one to throw up his own rhythms. And that way he might get some joy, because at the moment, trying to counter box or counter fight, it's not working for him. Uh, and the chances are he's behind on the judges' scorecards as well, so Cappy will need to come out on fire. Blood Diamond too. Needs to use that right hand a lot more. Getting the hard word from his corner. This is the third and final, our third quarter final. King in the ring, 75. Clyde Cowley not happy with the cameraman. There's a 
Nice body shot to start proceedings. Cappy started off a little harder than he has. He must know he's behind. Now Cappy's starting to come on. There's that head kick from inside the clinch, and that's the one that just makes Cappy a little bit hesitant to throw. He's trying to find a home, though, for that overhand right to time it over the left hand of Blood Diamond. <laughs> 40 seconds gone in the third and final. Cappy just starting to drop his left hand a little low. Big knee. Well, that was legitimate. Clyde Cowley hadn't called break. Protect yourself at all times. Bit of claret flowing from Mike Cappy's nose. Another left knee. Starting to hurt there. Cappy, just the, the power, I think, of Diamond starting to break down along the left side of his body. Minute 30 to go. Oh, that one, he just got the forearm up in time. Would have rattled the bones, though. The radius and the owner, and there again, unorthodox. Left hook that time, and again the left kick. Well, it ain't pretty. There's a few handbags thrown in with some champagne techniques. Must cop a leg kick on the half break. Cuppy's got to be careful. Cuppy's dropping his head down to the right. A right head kick would do it for him, or even just a right hook. Cappy lands a nice knee. It just looks like he's uh, just being out-muscled at this point as well. Here's that knee again. That was the Carlos Hicks knee, but Diamond throwing it from a way out as well. Gosh, that'd be interesting, those two throwing kicks and punches at each other, Monty. Oh, it's the knees. Both men devastated with the knees. Ten seconds to go. certainly goes to Blood Diamond. I think Mike Cappy hasn't quite done enough, but uh, still a lot more, I think, that uh, the man Mike Tambo needs to do if he's to take this tournament. Mike Cappy, brave performance, but needed to show a bit more output. Yeah, I think he had a bit more joy when he was the aggressor, or he was the one trying to break up the rhythm. Because when he was waiting for Blood Diamond, Blood Diamond had him on his string in terms of where he wanted him. Very difficult to fight. This is my diamond. A oh, little bit of rouge coming out of the nostrils of Mike Cappy. Very difficult, though, to fight a man with that kind of awkward rhythm, unorthodox, and power to go with it. Face the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision, where we find a unanimous decision winner. And going on to the semifinals a little bit later on here tonight, fighting out of the red corner, Blue!